Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to install Replay Mod with Optifine. So currently the Minecraft Optifine 1.19 has just come out a few days ago, so let's get into this. For this you will need the Replay Mod Optifine, you're also going to need a fabric installer, OptiFabric, which will help Fabric and Optifine work together, the Fabric API, and FFmpeg, because FFmpeg will render your videos. So just click download on Replay Mod, and so once you get on the screen, get the newest version or the version you would like, so 1.19. Now on to Optifine. There are a few preview versions, but I like to stick to the release versions. You can get any version that you would like here, but I'm just gonna go with 1.19. So once you're on this page, you just click download and it should download. Okay, now on to fabric. So this is the fabric installer. You need this to launch Optifine and Replay Mod at the same time. So you're just gonna want to download it here if you're on Windows. But if you're on Mac or Linux, then you can use the universal jar right there. Next on to OptiFabric, you're gonna wanna make sure the game version here matches the version you want, but this version is the newest, so if you're gonna use an older one, click files here. Then you can scroll down and see the game version 1.19, 1.19, 1.18.2, and so on and so forth. So whichever one you wanna get, I want 1.19. Make sure you get the newest of the version. So if you're getting 1.18.1, make sure you get the newer one here. But I'm going to be getting 1.19, so I'll download this one. Okay, next is the Fabric API. So you're gonna want to go to Files if you need a different version than the newest. Since I only need the newest version, I'll just click Download here. So next, we're on FFmpeg. So once you're on here, you go down to this section if you're using linux you use one of these if you're using windows you use one of these or mac you use this one i'm using windows so i will click this one and it should bring you to another website which you should just be able to download if you do not have 7-zip and can't get the full one then just go to github I have 7-Zip, so I will show you how to download the full one, which is just click it, and it should start downloading. But if you don't have 7-Zip, you click on the GitHub link, and it should take you over here. And then you can click whichever one. So, full build, you can click the zip file there, and it'll start downloading. Okay, so next we're going to be installing the things that we need to install. So first, let's start with FFmpeg, and I'm just going to extract it. So in here put percentage app data percentage and open it and now open your .minecraft folder and you can put it in the .minecraft. And then once you put the ffmpeg in there, it should be good. Now, back to installing fabric. Okay, so now let's download fabric. So double click on the fabric installer. Make sure you selected the right version. I want 1.19. Then it should just pick up your .minecraft file and then click install. Okay, next go in Minecraft and you should have the fabric loader right there. But if you don't go into installations and create a new one and make sure you get it. So next I'm going to edit this because I'm going to change something here. So in this, I'm going to change the RAM because the replay mod uses a lot of RAM, so it's only getting two gigs there. So I'm probably gonna change it to four gigs. You can change it based on however much RAM you have. I only have 16 gigs, so I'm going to keep it at four gigs and maybe put up to six gigabytes. Okay, now I'm gonna save this. Here I'm going to search percent app data percent. And it should have the file folder there, so you can just click on that. And once you're here, go into your .minecraft folder. And you should have a folder called mods. If you don't have one like me, since I just installed this, you click new folder and call it mods. All lowercase, just like that. Now open that folder. This is an installer, this is an installer, we use them both. 
So now the rest, the actual mods, is OptiFabric, Fabric API, Optifine, and Replay mod. So let's just drag them into the mods folder. And now it should be good if you just have the mods in there. So now we can close both of these. And now you should just be able to click play and this might pop up and it just says that you're using a modified installer and all you have to click is I understand the risks. Or maybe you not and just click play, but it'll keep popping up. So I recommend clicking this and then clicking play. And once you're in the game, it should be like this. It should have Optifine and Fabric in the corner. And now it should have a replay viewer. I do not have any replays since I just installed this, obviously. So let's go into any of my worlds. So in the top left, it says it's recording, so if you go into the game menu, you can pause or stop it. And also, currently, I am in my test survival world, so if you might notice, you can see that I'm working on the walls, but that's only if you watch my survival let's play, so if you don't, you can check that out here. But yeah, let's just fly around it and seem like I'm building something. Do -do 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 -do. I'm totally building and say let's just say you want to use your elytra and so now I'm just gonna start using my elytra and it works pretty nice and you can also zoom with optifine and everything like that and I'm pretty sure I have shaders installed yep look at those wave and now you can use replay mod with optifine and have some performance increases some nice shaders and other things like that. Okay, so now I stopped recording. And so now I'll show you the replay and how to um, save it and stuff. Okay, so in the top right, it should say save and replay file. So it should say the name and stuff there. It just puts the whatever, but you can also add something at the end. But I don't know why you can't delete anything, but it's fine. So now you click done and replay viewer. You can see that and now if i load it let's say i want this to be a time lapse and i want this camera to go somewhere like this so you press t to have your mouse cursor again and i'm gonna put it to three times speed and now i'm going to put this back to the start and so now i'm going to add a position and time keyframe like that and now i can move however i want to so now I'll just put my camera over, let's say, here I want it to show me a bit. But first, let's speed it up a little bit. And you also have to move this keyframe to the actual render of the video. But this one's just the raw video you took. So I want it just before I start flying off here. So it should be around now. So let me add a position and a time keyframe. Now I can have this over there and I can have it at, let's say 10 seconds. So I have it at 10 seconds now. I can go back in with escape. Now I am flying up to go start doing whatever I want to do. So now let's do that, except now I realize I'm going over there. So now I'm going to show it like this. And so let's keep it like that for a bit until it gets to there so let's add another one at say yeah like i said before 10 seconds add another time and position keyframe let's say i want it to go around the building so let's start with here and let's play it a bit and now i'm going to be clicking and placing some blocks so now i'm going to add the position and time keyframe and now I'm gonna make it go around. I'm gonna put it down like this. And now I'm gonna start playing this video again. And now you can see, add this. Let's just put it right there. Now the next one I'll put at 20 seconds so it won't be as fast. And now, and now I can play this again and it'll show me going around. Now I can add that again. And let's just see how it is so far. Let's just see it back here. So 
So it's like this, I could have tracked me better, but it doesn't really matter. I went a little fast there, but I can change that again. But you can see how this time lapse thing looks pretty nice so far. But yeah, let's just keep playing this. And so now I'm just getting my Elytra. So I'm going to add the keyframes and so say that's all I want here. So now I can just render the camera path. So I just did the Elytra thing, but I'm just going to do this for now. Say I don't really want the Elytra part in my video or whatever. So you can change whatever you want. So MP4, rendering method, stuff like that. But I would probably just leave it at default unless you're really advanced. And you can change the name of the output file. So you can go, I'll put hi.mp4. Save that. So now let's render this. Okay, so now if you show the preview, the performance might suffer, and yeah, it really does. So it's going pretty slow, but then when I turn it off, it goes faster. So if you're doing longer videos on replay mod, I would suggest that you don't show the preview. But you can if it's a short one and you don't really care how much time it takes. My render time was just over one minute and now once it's rendered you can upload to YouTube or open video folder. I would just like to open video folder and now I can see where my high.mp4 is. Okay so like I said I'm gonna open video folder and now you can see that high.mp4 is here and now it should just play normally. Um, once you're done you exit replay and it should be good. That was my tutorial on how to install Optifine with replay mod and with that I would like to say thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, bye guys.